Hey, there's a shoe here on the back of the door. It doesn't look like gold, though. Wait, this is it. It's just dusty. Cool. I'll have to show it to Frank. I found it, Frank. <laughs> well done. You're halfway there, then. Yeah, I'll put this safely away with the first one. Oh, now, uh, where did I hide that first one? Frank! Oh, don't worry. I remember. Just having a little game with you. So the next shoe belonged to Peter Adams, didn't it? As a matter of fact, it did belong to Pete. He was a quiet kind of fellow, though. Kept to himself, mostly. I don't really know where he would have hid his shoe. How do I know where to start, then? Well, as fate would have it, I had a visit from Father Ulrich a few days back. What did he want? Well, I thought perhaps he was here again to get me to his blasted choir singing. But in the end, he wanted to ask me about you. Me? He said he'd heard that you was investigating something to do with the mine and what we found down there. Well, of course, I didn't give you away. I just shook me trap and pretended like I had no clue what he was talking about. Anyway, he said he might have something useful for you. Except he called it most opportune. He asked if next time I saw you, I'd point you in his direction. What do you think he has, Frank? Oh, search me. Best if you go and find out for yourself. OK. I'll see you if... I mean, when I find the next shoe. <laughs> That's the way. Oh, one more thing before you go. Tell that little uh, friend of yours to stop making a nuisance of himself. He's been poking around the mine. Who? You know, uh, the one with the expression like he's been sucking on a lemon. Real stuck-up little brat. No respect for his elders. Uh, what's his... Uh, Colin or something like that. You mean Conrad? Jane Orthorpe's nephew. Ah, that's the one. Oh, he's no friend of mine. Hmm. Well, you tell him all the same. OK, Frank. Bye. Right then. Good luck. I gather you've spoken to Frank, then? Yes. A fine man, that Frank Foster. Just a pity he's not a regular churchgoer. He said you might have something that will help me with my investigation. Yes, that's right. You're looking into that tragedy that happened at the mine all those years ago, aren't you? Um, yeah. That's part of my search. Hmm. Well, when I heard you were... I was reminded of something I have that belonged to Peter Adams. You may want to see it. Peter died in the mine, didn't he? Yes. Terrible business. Such young men. 
Now, here we are. I'm not quite sure what this is. I guess you probably know as much about this as me, but I think it looks like it might be part of a key. But what does it open? This, I believe. A box? But haven't you opened it? Well, it's no ordinary box. It's as solid as a rock. I showed it to Bruce, and he said he couldn't open it without breaking the whole thing. And I know Peter wouldn't have wanted that. What's inside? I'm not sure. I thought it may be of some use to you in your investigations regarding the mine. Oh, uh, hello, Tom. Can I help you? What? Ah, uh, no. I was just looking for something. Seems I've found it after all. Excuse me. He's strange. He always seems to be hanging around. Now, Emma. It's true. I don't trust him. We are all God's children. Even if we are a little uh, strange and uh, forgetful, Tom has a great deal of trouble remembering his prayers and hymns. Oh, sorry, now, um, where were we? Ah, yes, the box. And what's inside? Well, I don't really know. It's a mystery within a mystery. But how did you get it? Peter left it with me before the accident. He said it was something special, and that if I was ever to hear someone asking for it, that I should show them the box and give them this key here with the number 12 on it. But I didn't ask. I know, but Frank said you were the right person. So where do I start? Ah, now that's about where my role ends and yours begins. I don't know any more than I've told you. Peter was a very religious man, though. He always said, all great mysteries begin with God. So I'd start here in the church. I have to go out now, though. So perhaps you could start tomorrow. OK, Father. Thanks. Emma? Hey, I bumped into that priest guy in the fishing village. You know, Tom Penman. What did he say? He was asking me about you and whether you found something on the island recently. Do you think he knows about the shoes? That's what I thought. I didn't say anything though. I told him I had to go to a riding lesson. Good thinking, Erin. I better go. It's checkers night. You know. Yeah, your mum and dad take it so seriously. <laughs> <laughs> 